Hadar Goldin was killed in the last ceasefire in the war of Gaza. My son is actually a victim of a ceasefire rather than a victim of a war. Since Hamas took advantage of knowing the IDF protocol not to shoot during ceasefire. We call the international community to join together in a political and financial message, measure in order to push and motivate Hamas to bring our sons home. Not just the Hamas, but also the countries and entities that support the Hamas. This is the highest humanitarian demand at hand. If Hamas are serious in resolving the situation in Gaza, they must comply to this basic humanitarian demand. This is a war against terrorism. We call the international community to join us and send a message that terrorism does not prevail. Thank you. In absentia, dear Shaul family, it's okay. they were not able to join us. Excellencies, honorable charge d'affaires, senior diplomat, honorable members of the Knesset, Ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I would like to welcome and to express my gratitude on behalf of the co-chairs of the Knesset Caucus to all the participants in this meeting initiated by the two co-chairs M.K. Shuli Mohanem Rafaeli and M.K. Amir Peretz, and whose purpose is to reach out to the international community, represented here and now by uh, an illustrious fragment, and to uh, try in our discussion to motivate it to increase its awareness to the unbearable situation by which Israeli soldiers and Israeli civilians are held in a blatant illegal way by the terrorist group of Hamas. Based on my own experience as a former ambassador officer to the UN, who had to deal in the year 2000 quite with a similar situation, a crisis with the, the terrorist group of Hezbollah, which held then three Israeli soldiers, I do know that if motivated for, the international community can deploy a considerable amount of efforts in order to facilitate the process and hopefully to accelerate it. I believe that there are a variety of means in the hands of the international community and the uh, international organization in order to put pressure by relevant means on Hamas and to try to assist Israel's government, Israel's members of the Knesset, particularly this caucus, to solve this inhuman situation. I know that we can, through this discussion, elaborate some conducive avenues to a solution as quick as possible for the resolution of our current crisis with Hamas. Hamas under the cover of the so-called fight for freedom practices is acting in a blatant 
violation and in a material breach of the uh, international humanitarian law. And we will have the opportunity to listen to Professor Avi Bell in this respect. I think that we have to unite today, to stand united, in order to call on all the energies available for this struggle to assist our government and to assist the families in their predicament. Ladies and gentlemen, just a few words about the course, the procedure of this meeting. Right after this brief preamble, I am honored to give the floor to the two coaches. First, Ladies first, member of Knesset Shuli Moalem Rafaeli, and then member of Knesset Amir Pertz for some opening remarks. Right after that, we will listen to the Ogin <coughs> family. Uh, we will view a short uh, video on the subject, <coughs> have the insight of Professor Avi Bell and Mr. David Badin, and then open the discussion between uh, the honorable members of the Knesset and our distinguished guests, ambassadors and senior diplomats and representatives of international organizations. Mrs. Moadam, the floor is yours.